Hey guys, let's talk about backup solutions for when the power goes out. Inevitably, it's going to happen to you. I know it's happened to you before because it's happened to me. Here's the deal. We all lose power for a number of different reasons. Sometimes it's just the utility company working on the lines. Many times it's the result of a storm. Uh, here and where we live, this part of the country, these states of Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, Tennessee, Texas, we get terrible ice storms in the winter in some of these areas. That can knock out power for days and sometimes for weeks. But also, guys, we get tornadoes, we get wind storms, like these types of things. It's where we choose to live and that stuff is gonna happen. Luckily, we don't get earthquakes like over in California. We don't get hurricanes like down in Florida, but we do get tornadoes and we do get ice and we do get wind. And if you live here for long enough, you are gonna have a power outage. Now, hopefully that's only for a few hours, but sometimes it ends up being for a day or two or longer. And depending on what time of year it is, if it's in that hot, stifling, you know, hot, humid summer, Guys, you gotta go to a hotel. You can't stay in a home when it's 90 something degrees outside. You're, you're not gonna make it. Same thing as if it's freezing cold, single digit temperatures and you have ice and you lose your power, you're not gonna be able to stay in the home. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. So one of the biggest questions that we get in conjunction with solar questions is what about batteries? What about backup? What about storage? What can I do? This became huge for us as a company during the time of COVID. Prior to COVID, nobody really asked about batteries. It was all about solar panels. And then when COVID hit, it was like a switch was flipped and everybody wanted to know, do my solar panels come with batteries? I think everybody felt like at the time, if the whole world's going down because of COVID and the guy at the power company falls asleep at the switch, I wanna make sure that I have a backup power source where I can make things happen. So since that time, not as big demand for batteries, but this is still something that comes up frequently with our customers. And so we have two options here at Shine, and you have two options wherever you live with most solar companies of how you can have backup power. So I'll start with number one, which is just simply a whole home generator. Um, these are less expensive than a battery, and they basically do the same thing. Uh, they typically run on uh, diesel fuel. Sometimes they can run on natural gas. There's a number of different types and varieties. They can range as low in price as 10 or $12,000, or as high as $30,000, depending on how big of a generator you want and how much you wanna have it backed up. Normally, if you're doing natural gas, you need a plumber to come in and install the whole home generator. Or if it's more of a portable diesel or gasoline powered generator, that's something that anybody can buy. It's something that anybody can get. And some of those range as low as, you know, $1,800, somewhere in that range. So it all kind of depends on how long you think you may be out of power. And the second part is, what do you actually need to run while your power's out? Now here's the deal, if your power goes out, my guess is you're not gonna operate your home like you would when your power's on. You're not gonna be using every single appliance all at the same time. You're gonna be a lot more discretionary regarding what you actually need. And so many times that comes down to the very basics. You're gonna need a stove to cook on. You're gonna need a refrigerator to be able to keep your food from spoiling, right? Um, what's essential to you may not be essential to everybody else, but you know what your essentials are and that's why you're gonna use a backup generator while you're waiting for the power to come back on. Recently, there was this terrible fire in Lahaina, Maui. I know all of you guys heard about this fire. I have some close friends uh, who live there, and one of the first things I did after making a donation is they went to Costco and they bought something like 20 or 30 generators that they then shipped on a friend's plane to Lahaina because none of these people have power, and they're literally working off portable generators that are sitting in the lot of their home right now, so they're able to do very basic things like run a mini fridge or run a microwave or do things to make sure they can survive, right? So you never know when you're gonna lose your power and a backup generator is the fastest, most affordable way to make sure that you have power when you need it. Okay, now here's number two, batteries. Now, there's two types of battery buyers, okay? The first type of battery buyer is someone that's probably a fan of Tesla. They have Tesla solar panels on their roof. They have a charger inside of their garage. They may have a Tesla vehicle that they park inside of their garage. And they also want the Tesla Powerwall. It's beautiful. It looks fantastic. It's sleek. It's smooth. It's vertically integrated. And it's the most expensive route that you can go when it wants to come doing a battery. But hey, if you have a Tesla, I have a Tesla. I love mine too. I don't have a power wall. I have a different battery in my home. But if you're the kind of person that loves that, then you know what? We got Tesla for you. And the good news about Tesla, 
a year ago, you had to wait 18 months to get a Tesla Powerwall battery. Now you can get a Tesla Powerwall battery in about 10 days. So they have supply, the prices come down by about 10% of what it used to be. And so if you are the Tesla guy and you want that battery, then we have it for you and you can get everything set up perfect. Now the good news is, if you're not a Tesla person, there's several other batteries on the market now that are just as good, if not better than the Tesla Powerwall battery, and they're not nearly as expensive. So this is when a battery would come into play. Two instances. Number one, just like the generator, in the case of a blackout, you're gonna have a battery. And the idea is that during the day when your solar panels are producing power, if they produce more power than what you actually use inside of your home, that excess power goes into your battery and you're able to use that at night or you're able to use that in case of a storm or a blackout. Kind of a common myth that's out there that I want to expel right now. Many people believe if you have solar panels, when the power goes out, your panels keep working. And that's not true. The only time that's true is in the case of a battery. Here's the reason why. If you have solar panels and the power goes out and your panels are still producing, there's a lineman potentially down the road from you that's trying to repair those lines. And if your solar panels are putting electricity into the lines, you can potentially shock that lineman, injure them, or possibly kill them. So there's a disconnect switch that gets flipped on every single solar system out there whenever the power is lost. The only exception is when there's a battery. Then your solar panels will continue to produce power. They will run your home and any excess power will go into your battery and you can use that at night. And so that's the first reason why you would wanna have a battery is just for blackouts, right? And it's, it's perfect. It goes right along with your solar panels and it's a vertically integrated system. The second reason is depending on where you live in the United States, there's certain times of the day when electricity is more expensive than others. For example, if you live in the greater Phoenix metro area, the cost of electricity between the hours of 3 p.m. and 7 or 8 p.m. is far more expensive than power at 1 or 2 a.m. So there's some strategy around where you put the solar panels on your home and when you would actually use a battery or a load control system to maximize your savings and make sure that you have some backup power. So more complex than we wanna get into in this video, but the bottom line is you're going to lose your power at some point in the future. How big of a deal is it to you when that happens? Will a backup generator do the trick? Just a cheap portable one? Do you want a whole home generator so you can run your essentials for several days? Or do you want a battery so that it works in conjunction with your solar panels and you always have that excess energy at the end of the day to run your essentials? Regardless of what you want, almost every reputable company will have it. And at Shine Solar, we have that as well. Right now, approximately 15 to 18% of our customers will add a generator or a battery whenever they go solar. What's interesting is after every major storm that happens in the fall or the winter, we get a flood of phone calls, usually from existing customers that have solar panels, that now they're ready to add a battery or now they're ready to add a generator. So don't find yourself in a situation where you don't have options if you lose your power. With a little bit of planning ahead and a little bit of just being smart about where you invest your income, you can make sure that when the power goes down, you're safe and sound.